Hello, everybody. Today, I have Alex here, and we are Hello. going to talk about Diablo 4. Now, Alex, I yep. mentioned this to you. I told you that there was a certain character in Diablo 4, and I knew it, it like, slightly rang a bell to me because I... Obviously, I watch you and Brandon play a lot of Diablo 2. What does Mephisto mean to you? He was a tough boss. He's the, uh, if I recollect, I was just playing Diablo 2 not that long ago. But uh, he is the DLC boss and the final bo um, Act 5 boss. And uh, he's supposed to be like this super cunning out of all the other prime evils and stuff. And like he's the one who comes up with like these like more diabolical plans. He kind of gets the ball rolling on stuff where like Diablo is kind of like this just heavy hitter. You know, when you told me that he was in the game, that I wasn't too surprised. I, I'm kind of curious to see how big a role because I don't know anything about Diablo 4. So now are you ready for me to blow your mind? Okay. Yeah. So this kind of blew my mind when I was watching it. You see the characters start off, you're walking through the blizzard, it's snowing, you're gonna die, and there's that wolf that kind of shows you to a cave, right? Right. The wolf is Mephisto. That's like an uh, embodiment of him. He's guiding you, because he senses that you could stop Lilith. See, that's him scheming right there. He's, yeah. the, why does he want to stop Lilith, though? He, he wants to stop Lilith because she knows that he is weak, defeated in hell, and she's coming for his essence. So the whole game is you're like playing catch up with Lilith. She's brought to the uh, sanctuary. You're trying to stop her. You're chasing after her. You're always one step behind her, right? And as the game goes on, you start to figure out her plan. She's going to hell. Why is she going to hell? Then you figure out she's Mephisto's daughter, right? Yep. So that just adds another layer to it. And then she's going to collect his essence. He's weak. So you like go to his chapel in hell and like when you break through the, the doors that you see on the loading screens are like the doors leading to his section of hell when you say temple though too because like he started a religion in sanctuary he had a cult so he started a faith and i think he's the one who corrupted the paladin order and then that and they become like zealots now see that that's interesting because tonight after we're done shooting this i'm going to go and stream the Chapel of Light, and I haven't been able to do it because I'm too underleveled. When you get to level 50, you can do this Chapel of Light, otherwise it's really hard if you try to do it below that. It's after you beat Lilith, it's like the capstone before you unlock the other difficulties, so I'm going to do that tonight. It's Paladin related, so the fact that you're saying that, I'm wondering if there's going to be any little nuggets there. Another thing, too, um, I'm sure everyone knows because it was in the intro, Lilith is the mother of all the, Nestle, uh, the Nephilim. Do they bring up the father at all? He's my favorite character. Uh, Anarius? Is that who you're talking about? Yes. Um, so for those who didn't know, I mean, it's, I think it's explained pretty well. Anarius was an angel that was, saw the futility of this war because neither side could truly die. And um, Lilith created Sanctuary and gave birth to the Nephilim, which are just the humans. And Anarius, for his betrayal, and as a part of like almost like a peace treaty between heaven and hell, Anarius was given to the demons. And he later, I think he escaped after Diablo 3. In this game, you go to find Anarius, like you need, like you're going to the Black Lake, as, a, as the story progresses, you, you need his blessing. So you go and find Anarius, and he is wicked. Like you can tell, like Tyrael, I know Tyrael played a bigger part in the third game. He was great, totally fine, but I didn't really like him. I could tell he was like kind of the fan favorite, but I, it didn't really matter to me that much. Some of the other angels were better. In this game, you see a lot of Anarius. You get his blessing, you go on, you see a war with him and Lilith, which you need to see this cutscene. I'm going to send you a cutscene at the after we finish shooting this video, where Anarius 
wages war into hell at the end of Act 6. And he goes in there with his whole army of Templars. And they're fighting. There's all these demons. Total bloodbath. Anarius and Lilith face off. It's it's amazing. It's the coolest cutscene I've seen in anything Diablo related. I heard like Heaven's locked its gates because of Diablo after... I remember reading something about like Heaven locking its gates after the what happened in Diablo 3. And there were rumors that that might be part of the game where you have to like get into heaven or something or heaven may be starting to turn corrupt what do you think as this game goes on you're chasing after lilith and you're working on you find like a fragment of the soul stone and you're trying to attune it to her but what you end up doing is you attune it to mephisto right so then as you're going on to the game you actually catch wind of what Lilith is going to do. So you beat her to Mephisto. You would capture him in the Soul Stone. And then you kill her. Oh, so you've already killed Lilith? Yep. So you don't know what the final part of the game is then? Right. That's what I'm saying. This capstone dungeon, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. I've beaten Lilith. I know what happens to Anarius. But there's something. Well, what happened to? Wait, what happened to Adarius? Is he is he dead too? Then he he dies. He dies. It's. I'm gonna show you this cutscene. Everyone, Alex will see this cutscene after this. Just know that it's the coolest cutscene ever. I'm gonna show him the minute this video ends. Kind of curious to see how this ends then, because I figured the final boss would be Lilith. So then it makes me wonder what the deal. I think then it's gonna have something's going on in heaven it has to be right and so then it's gonna hint like you're gonna fight a boss in heaven or something and then they're gonna be like oh well the game's not done yet we're coming out with some dlc all right everybody thanks for watching if you want to know what happens in the diablo 4 capstone dungeon the cathedral of light make sure to tune in i'm going to have a live stream on my channel you can check it out to see what's going on when we finally get to the end of that dungeon. Until next time, I'll see you later. This video is brought to you by your support on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash 94 to help support the channel.